Nothing is more surprising than the easiness with which the many are governed by the few. Duty is no quality in things themselves. It exists merely in a mind which contemplates them. It is impossible, therefore, that any arguments from experience can prove this resemblance of the past to the future, since all these arguments are founded on the supposition of that resemblance. Be a philosopher, but amidst all your philosophy, be still a man. A man who is not susceptible to flattery, will soon have few friends and allies. The rules of morality are not conclusions of our reason. When our most distinct perceptions are false, they must represent objects which are also distinct. The mind has never anything present to it but the perceptions and cannot possibly reach any experience of their connection with objects. A wise man's kingdom is his own breast, or, if he ever looks farther, it will only be to the judgment of a select few, who are free from prejudices and capable of examining his work. A miracle is a violation of the laws of nature, and as a firm and unalterable experience has established these laws, the proof against a miracle, from the very nature of the fact, is as entire as any argument from experience can possibly be imagined. Generally speaking, the errors in religion are dangerous those in philosophy only ridiculous. The life of man is of no greater importance to the universe than that of an oyster. Reason is, and ought only to be, the slave of the passions. In our reasonings concerning matter of fact, there are all imaginable degrees of assurance from the highest certainty to the lowest species of moral evidence. Duty in things exists in the mind which contemplates them. A wise man proportions his belief to the evidence. Custom is the great guide of human life. The love of novelty is a pleasant feeling. Heaven and hell suppose two distinct species of men, the good and the bad, but the greatest part of mankind floats betwixt vice and virtue. The heart of man is made to reconcile the most glaring contradictions Human nature is the only science of man, and yet has been hither to the most neglected. All inferences from experience are effects of custom, not of reasoning. But it is a miracle that a dead man should come to life, because that has never been observed in any age or country. Between married persons, the cement of friendship is by the laws supposed so strong as to abolish all division of possessions, and as often, in reality, the force ascribed to it. <laughs>